Welcome to my first introduction in my series on how to shoplift or steal from your favorite places. Whether you are going to be able to is solely dependent upon how well you are able to follow these steps. Today's lesson is the principles on not getting caught. Watching this video will make each method easier since you will know what to keep in mind. Take in consideration of these variables that will make it more difficult or easier for you to get caught. 1. Familiarity with the workers there. The less familiar you are with the workers there the easier it is to get away with shoplifting since it's more difficult to ID you. While I've worked in a 7-11 years ago, my manager would review the camera's footage every morning and I assumed it was to catch me eating expired donuts that should have been in the trash. However, it was to understand the traffic and to catch shoplifters. The more familiar you are the easier it is to identify you, depending on what you stole and how often certain protocols would be followed. This brings me to my next point. If people can identify you, they'll feel more comfortable approaching you or snitching on you. For an example I was just one of the cool employees that didn't really care. Therefore, if you came to my register, I'm not going to say if you found what you were looking for because I didn't care about you and I wasn't being paid any extra to confront stealing if it wasn't up in my face. However I had snitch as co-workers that would confront, snitch to the manager and write the most detailed descriptions because they wanted to kiss as thinking it would make them eligible for promotion. Many times chain convenience stores, dollar stores or chain workers aren't paid enough and are often in between jobs so their care level are going to be different than department stores like Target, Walmart, Home Depot etc. 2. Time of day. The best time is usually the most busiest times however it's a double-edged sword. Face it you are watching this to steal shit. Therefore you need to understand anyone that knows or sees you will 6-9 on you. Understand that the more busy the workers or cashiers are the more difficult it is for them to catch you. However be mindful that most managers stop working from the times of 4.30 pm 8 pm. Shift changes could be a great time because workers are either wanting to leave or not to start work but whatever way you put it they are focused on making sure the count is accurate which is placing lot of their focus on proper shift changes. These are common hours workers are scheduled from 8 am to 4.30 pm, 4.30 pm to 11 pm and are 11 pm to 7 am. If you wish not to do it during shift changes then either focus early morning, late evening or even prime time. 3. Surveillance The problem with prime time is obviously a lot of focus is placed upon catching thieves however it always dependent upon the choice of stores. Convenience stores the best times is around the 8 pm to 11 o'clock because there often enough there isn't anyone live watching the cameras. However it's best to understand where cameras are and get a great idea of possible blind spots. However if you look for cameras ever then you made it hot because if you choose to scope it out then you'll make the list for the people to watch for. Thus you just outed yourself. Finally, remember the quicker you and the less suspicious you look is the best way to not get caught. Also remember if you buy anything for under $5 you'll look suspicious so don't be in a store for mad long and you buy a 35 cent pack of gum. Hopefully you enjoy this video and please like or subscribe because I'll be dropping the best methods. Some methods I've learned are from hood niggas, professional thieves and idiots.